Hey what's up YouTube this is the Mastodon Tech Portal and in this video I'm going to show you Nitro X Spark mode for any Android device. So for this you must have a rooted device and if you don't know how to root your Android device you can check out my videos the links are in the description. So go to this link this is the Nitro X Spark version 3.0 vision it is available from Gingerbread to Marshmallow and ARM and 32 bit versions and follow the instructions carefully and because if by chance you break your phone i will not be able to solve your problems so follow the instructions carefully everything is written properly in this link and by using this link you will be able to improve the performance of your android or you can either save for battery a lot so now without any further ado let's get started now we will boot into our recovery mode to flash the file you can download the file from the links even below it is around 2 to 3 MB and recovery is required to flash the file and if you don't have recovery first install the recovery and if you are using JSON, you can follow my video of how to install DWRP recovery the links are in the description and now go to install and search for this Nitro X Spark click and just swipe to confirm flash I have already flashed that so there is no need and it will take around 1 minute to flash and after that just reboot the system no necessary recovery is required you can use uh, T CWM any TWRP or any other recovery you have and now download this terminal emulator it is freely available in the play store you can download it from the links given below and after flashing type SU to grant super SU permissions and now we will type menu to get the menu of nitro spark so here we have the menu it is loading from here you can check the system information by just typing one and here you can see it is showing the system information and now go back by pressing one here we have lots of options like we have we can set background applications if you want to keep in memory and we have this X booster we have profiles you can set various profiles from here here we have game balance multitasking force I have set it to force to get the maximum out of my phone so you can set it to gaming balance multitasking or any other by just typing like if you want multitasking type 3 and press enter and it will set it to multitasking and here we also have LMK Nitro I have set it to aggressive we also have master we will later check it we have the add Nitro if you don't want add you can set it to on by pressing this 9 and enable it we also have end render you can set render either your GPU or CPU and we have MCPS that is multi go power saving net boost to speed up your internet and clean uh, we also can clear wipe Dalvik cache from here directly and we have supports you can battery calibrate alternative mount if you want to fix battery drain you can also do that we also have add-ons in add-ons you can directly install some apps from here we have expose framework greenify du battery saver amplify just click on any other and it will redirect you to the download page to download that app directly i am not showing you a complete review of this because it will take a lot of time you can try it on your own and you can uh, give comments in the comment box of how is your feedback and we also have backup and restore you can create backup and restore and in Eight, yeah by pressing 8 you will get the master options here we have lots of features like uh, you can also set uh, preset like battery if you want to save battery you can set it to balance and it will make a balance between your battery and performance and you can set it to gaming while playing heavy games and here we have the lots of options like Wi-Fi sleep ZRAM swap zipline adrenal booster SD tuner touch cleaner media kill IU tweak sleeper 30 of the options are available in this single option and we have also super dropper kill play store ksm test screen tweaks we have lots of options available in this
and if you don't like this you can directly uninstall it by just typing 26 and press enter and it will uninstall automatically and after that just restart your phone to apply the changes and also you can check out my another video of how to increase performance or battery of project dark booster it is same as this mode but uh, this nitro is the advanced version of project dark booster you can use either uh, dark booster or nitro both of them are very good to increase performance or battery life of your android device so that's all with this small review of nitro x park booster to increase performance or battery life and if you have any queries you can just comment in the comment box i will reply as soon as possible and uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button it will help me to grow so thank you